days away from Christmas, and that means for me and the family that we're going to enjoy some pheasants. Uh, I've got a couple of nice birds here that were shot on Monday. Got one cock, one hen, got another couple here ready to go. So good eight breasts that we're going to get off these birds, and that'll do to do the uh, to do the four of us and um, and also my mother and father. Um, so yeah. What about doing a quick video then, just to show you how we get the breasts off these birds. Just move this one over a little bit. So we've got a hen bird here. So what I'm just gonna do, first of all, just open up the legs a bit. Okay, lovely. Take my knife. We're just gonna get into the skin here, just pinch the skin. And we're just going to cut through. Well, that was nice and easy. Just get our fingers underneath. And we're going to pull back the skin away from the breast. Get a few feathers there. There we go. Nice and easy. Okay, lovely. So, we've got the... Got the breast exposed there, a little bit sticky with the blood. So like I say, this bird, these birds were shot on Monday and it's now Saturday, the day before Christmas Eve. So I think that's, for me, that's plenty of, um, plenty of time to, to have a bird hanging. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to identify where the breastbone is, which is just where you can see this yellow line of fat down here. And I'm gonna use the breastbone on each side as a guide to start taking away the breast meat um, and also up along the wishbone up the top here. Okay, so just make sure that you always have a nice sharp knife for this. So just locate the, locate the breastbone. You just wanna be easing the knife through the meat all the way down. There we go. Just making sure, like I say, that we're going across the wishbone and then the same across the other side. Lovely. You can see there that the fillet, that the breast just starts to come away really nice and easy there. No mess at all in this. Just being careful that I don't go cutting too deep. There we go. We've got the right hand side breast there. Nice bit of meat. And I'm just checking it over for any shot damage. But no, that looks like um, looks like a good piece. No shot damage on that. Oh, feathers. Right, then we're just gonna go to the other side now. I can see that there's what looks like some shot damage there. But what I'll do is once I've got once I've got all of the all of the meat off this bird, off all of the birds, I'll then remove any shot. And it's always easy enough to, to be able to see the shot. I don't normally roast a full bird. Um, I prefer just to take the to take the breasts off these. Um, it's a lot easier, especially when you've got a lot of birds that you need to be processing. There we go. Get them feathers out of the way. Yeah, so you can see there what looks like might be a little bit of shot damage there. We might have a pellet in there. 
Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe just a bit of bruising. Anyway, yeah. Nice couple of breast pieces there. And we'll get the cockbird done next and then on to these two. So, yeah, any questions about preparing pheasant, um, just give me a shout. But these are going to be pan fried later, just with some vegetables. Might do some Yorkshire puddings as well. And um, they'll make a, a lovely meal um, ahead of Christmas. So, yeah, anyway, Merry Christmas. Yeah. <sighs>